Hello, I'm Roger Carroll with AM Solar, and today we're going to be talking about my three favorite uh, RV battery monitor displays. They are State of Charge, NetApps Display, and Amp Hours Used. As, as a way of a quick bio, uh, I've been RVing uh, since the mid-70s, I've been full-timing since uh, 2005, and I've been living with solar uh, full-time uh, for the past eight years. So, so these are my, my favorite displays in my opinion. In a previous segment, Garrett Town was kind enough to discuss the Victron BMB Sub 12 uh, battery monitor, how it works, and installation tips, and the link that to it is right down here, hopefully. Yeah. In this perspective, we're going to talk about you know living with a battery monitor, what it means to an RV or out there doing dry camping and, and boondocking. There are several favorite battery monitors that we sell and we're dealers for. Uh, one of the first one was the Victron BMV 712, which Garrett introduced you to. Uh, we also like Bogart Engineering's Trimetric 2030 series uh, over here. And again, uh, display is unique. Over here, the Blue Sky uh, offering with through their IPN Pro Remote and their internal shunt kit, optional shunt kit. You can also get uh, uh, battery state of charge. And then we're going to be working with the Magnum Energy battery monitor kit function here, which has a little bit bigger display for us to work with. As you can see on the Magnum Energy, uh, we, can, we can dial this in, but battery state of charge gives me a percentage of the battery capacity, but basically it's fullness. And we want to make a note here about, uh, about battery capacity. Uh, the number, the percentage number is a to function of ba uh, total battery capacity, not usable capacity. So at 100%, the battery is full. At zero, the battery is depleted, it's fully gone. What I love about battery state of charge is it gives me a quick snapshot of the general health of the entire system. Okay, if my battery's at a 100%, I know my batteries are full and for, especially for lead acid batteries, they like to be full uh, all the time consistently. And the longer, uh, more consistently I can keep them full, I'm going to get the longest life out of those batteries. Lithium batteries, a little bit different. They don't need to be 100% fully charged all the time. Uh, that's more of kind of a wanting to have uh, your batteries full at the end of the day going into the nighttime. But, uh, but as far as lithium batteries are concerned, they don't need to stay at 100% uh, to get the longest life out of them. But for those of us that live with lead, lead acid technology, either flooded wet cell batteries or AGMs, we like to see those batteries at 100%. So battery state of charge at 100% means my batteries are fully charged all my charging systems are probably working and all my loads are under control. If those things are, are happening, happening on a daily basis, when I come into my RV uh, midday or at the end of the day and I see that battery state of charge at 100%, I know everything is working fine. If it's less than 100%, there might be an issue. What could the issues be? Okay, so if we're not charging, we're suspecting charging issues, one of the first things we ask ourselves, are the panels clean? Okay, are they dirty? When's the last time you clean those panels? So after checking panels, next thing we we'll want to maybe take a look at is your flooded wet cell batteries if you have flooded. Okay, when's the last time you checked the water level on them? Another aspect is are there unusual loads on the system that, that's bringing that, uh, the batteries down? And by the way, this is all good information that you need when you call in for technical support. My second favorite battery monitor display is the net amps display. It displays amps in a, in a positive or negative value, charging or discharging. On the Magnum, we access those displays by pressing the meter button until we get the O1 function of the display. This allows us then to use the rotate knob and rotate to a function called 03 BM meters. We depress the knob and you're there. And now we can rotate the knob to the net apps display. That, that minus or positive value. This is real time information about what's going on with your batteries. If you see a negative value, there's a slight discharge. It might be a major discharge. But if you see a positive number, then overall you're charging the system. Because it's real time, I can answer or, or ask the question, what are the conditions, solar conditions, unusual loads, uh, you know, do I have things turned on unnecessarily, do I have the fridge running in AC mode automatically with the inverter on? All these kinds of questions can be 
can be located or answered through this NetApps display. Another great thing about the NetApps display is isolating loads. How much does a particular appliance use? And this is actual data. So in my little prop here, I've got a little, little, little heater. Watch that display change. Right now, I'm, I'm discharging at the rate of, let's say, round numbers, uh, two amps. Uh, discharging at two amps. So I'm going to turn this little this heater on, and all of a sudden, boom, it jumps up to 48, uh, 48 round numbers, 47.4. So just minus the two amps, and boy, you, on the average, this electric heater in this setting is drawing about 45 DC amps. And if I ran that for an hour, that would be 45 amp hours. My third favorite battery monitor display is resettable amp hours. And on the Magnum, we get to it by using that rotating knob. And at this point, uh, we're going to go to resettable. R says resettable. What's cool about this display and this function is that I can reset that display just by holding down the button to zero at, let's say, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then I can come back 24 hours later, and that's going to be it's a, a running tally. Uh, let me get back to it. A running tally of the number, total number of amp hours that I that I expended over a 24-hour period. Then a quick follow-up. I that actual data is more realistic because it's real time, uh, and instead of trying to uh, do calculated data, and this comes in really handy when we are trying to size for a solar system. So you folks with special appliances, i.e., CPAP machines, your favorite current or espresso machine, or that favorite hair dryer. It's hard to know and look up when you call us to see, you know, how much does this, this, this appliance use. But if you use that resettable, uh, the, the net amps or resettable amp hours, over a period of time, you can see how much you, energy you're that, that, that hair dryer is using because you're not running the hair dryer 24-7. You're going to run it for five minutes here, CPAP, CPAP machine eight hours here. But with the resettable amp hours, uh, you can monitor a 24-hour cycle of all your appliance usages and the number of times you make that current coffee maker sing and, and turn your stereo on and get that. And so you'll get a nice picture of a 24-hour cycle. And that's what that's the num magic number we want to use when we're sizing a solar system for you. Now, don't forget about the recreational term in RVing and get out there and have some fun. Happy camping.